In the last section, we talked about adding subtracting matrices and multiplying by a number out in front. Today, I'm going to show you how to multiply, multiply matrices together and also how to use a calculator to make your life a whole lot easier. If you want to multiply matrices together, um, you need to look at the size of the matrix first. Um, so for example, if you have a 2 by 3 matrix and you want to multiply this by a 3 by 4 matrix, what you're going to get is a 2 by 4 matrix as an answer. This is because the number of rows um, and columns, so this is number of rows, 2 and 3 columns, the number of columns in A, matrix A and B, number of columns in A matches the number of rows in B. When this happens, the resulting matrix will be this and this, 2 by 4. Um, <clears throat> if this happens, we say that the product, the answer, is defined. If this doesn't happen, if the number of columns in A does not match the number of rows in B, we say that it's not defined. The answer is not defined. So I was going to walk you through the theory on why you multiply matrices like this. Um, I'd rather just show you how to do it on a calculator and make sure you know how to do that very well because when it comes down to it, you're going to need to perform and the calculator is going to be your best friend. So let's say we have two matrices, A, B. So A is equal to this. And B is equal to And the question says, find AB, which, of course, as you know, means A times B. So what we're going to do is, in our calculator, we're going to set up these matrices and then just multiply them together. So the way to do this is you hit second, matrix, and you go over to edit. So I had already done this previously, but I'll show you how to type it in. You edit it, you say matrix A is a 2 by 2, so you hit 2, enter, 2, enter. Then you enter the values 1, enter, 4, enter, 3, enter, negative 2, enter. And now you have this 2 by 2 matrix A with the values inside that you want. You're going to do the same thing for matrix B, so second matrix, edit matrix B. Tell it you want a 2 by 2, so 2, enter, 2, enter and put in your values, 5, minus 7, 9, and 6. Now we're going to quit, and we're going to multiply A times B. So second matrix, go down to names this time, because now these are actually the matrices we want. We're not going to edit them anymore, we just want to use them, so we're not going to choose them from edit, we just want to use them. So we'll hit matrix A, enter times matrix B, enter, and then enter again, and it's going to calculate the answer for us, which is 41, 17, negative 3, negative 33. You also have a lot of choices now that you've entered these matrices into your calculator of what you want to do with them. Like, let's say you want to do 3 times A minus A times B which would be extremely difficult on paper, but in the calculator, it's not that bad. So we just type in, just make sure, um, it doesn't know that you want to multiply them together, so you need multiplication symbols here and here. That way, the calculator knows you want to multiply. So I'm going to put in parentheses, 3 times A, second matrix A, minus second matrix A times B, And that's going to give us an answer for this extremely long question. But once we put it into our calculator, it's quite easy. So earlier in this video, I talked about how for, an, for an, the product of two matrices to be defined, the number of columns in A has to match the number of rows in B. So what happens on a calculator if it's not defined? So let's say we have a matrix like a 3 by 2. And we want to multiply that times 
a 3 by 3. Well, you know the number of columns in A does not match the number of rows in B, so this shouldn't work. The answer should be not defined. So let's just make sure that happens on our calculator and let's see what it looks like. So I'm just making up some numbers now. Let's make a 3 by 2 and a 3 by 3. So let's edit matrix A and we'll say we want a 3 by 2. I'm going to put in some numbers, so like 2, negative 3, 6, 10, 2, and 4. It doesn't really matter what I'm putting here. Let's edit matrix B. Let's make a 3 by 3, so 3 times 3. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just making, I'm just making all this stuff up now. And 9. So let's multiply those two together. So to multiply it, you know already, you just hit second matrix, grab matrix A under names, not edit, A times matrix B. And it has a dimensional mismatch because it can't get an answer. You can't actually multiply these two things together.